After eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost of food. Today, we got a terrible report from the charity Second Harvest, which reports that this year they expect a million additional visits to food banks, and that last year, 36 percent of charities had to turn people away because they were running out of resources. Will the Prime Minister reverse his inflationary carbon tax on farmers and food? The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to Fight for Canadians, we will take no lessons from these Conservatives, Mr. Speaker. Today, I just appeared in front of the Agricultural Committee, and Mr. Speaker, it was shocking to see that one of their members was defending the profit margin of foreign food processor, Mr. Speaker, at a time when we should all be fighting in this House for Canadians, Mr. Speaker. If the Leader of the Opposition want to do something for Canadians, vote for C-59, increase competition in this country. More competition is more choice, better price for Canadians, and more innovation, Mr. Speaker. Can anyone understand that? Will he understand? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaker, what I understand is that after eight years, this Prime Minister, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, is not worth the cost of food. And if he thought that grocery profits were too high, after eight years, you'd think he might have done something about it. But instead, we now have a massive increase. Let's get this straight. Second Harvest predicts there will be a million more visits to food banks this year than there was in last year's record-breaking year. In fact, many charities can no longer give people food because they've actually run out. In light of the failure of the carbon tax and the pain it is causing, will they axe the tax so that Canadians can afford to eat? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. One thing Canadians know, Mr. Speaker, is that the Leader of Opposition, the preferred verb is cut, Mr. Speaker. We all know he would be cutting. When you're looking at the record on both sides, Mr. Speaker, let me tell you what we're, we have done in the last few months to fight for Canadians, Mr. Speaker. We have launched the largest reform on competition in this nation history. We have made sure that we have a functioning Consumers Bureau of Fair, Mr. Speaker. We have made sure that we have now in this country more measures to fight for Canadians. Mr. Speaker, every member of this House should be fighting for Canadians. The question is, will the Conservative fight with us for Canadians? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, after that answer just proves that after eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost. It's not just that a million more people will visit food banks this year than in last year's record smashing year. It's that now there's a large Facebook group of 800 people, 8,000 people, who call themselves the Dumpster Diving Network. So desperate are they that not only can they not afford groceries or find it at food banks, that they're literally dumping, jumping into garbage cans to find food. How desperate do Canadians have to get before this government will finally axe its tax on food? Yeah.